Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So I had just changed to the Taekwondo second job class, the Star Gladiator. And before anything else, before we go in further with the Star Gladiator build, especially on the skill set, I want to show you the Taekwondo potential when you change the job to the Star Gladiator. Taekwondo on second job is a master killer. After changing job to the second job, the Taekwondo Taekwon get a lot more AOE skill. With the right setup, Taekwon can easily wipe out monsters. So here I am farming the Mantis. See that I can easily kill 3 monsters at the same time with just a basic equipment. My equipment progress is actually very bad for my level. It is underdeveloped. I have been leveling up so fast that my equipment progress can't catch up. But the Taekwon still can kill the monsters about his level quite easily. So how to do that? On second job, the Taekwon core skills finally evolved to a higher level skill form. The kick style transformed to three stages or three forms. I like to refer it to as the enhanced skill form for the second stage and the ultimate skill form for the final stage. After using the basic skill, the skill changed to the enhanced skill, letting you to use the skill consecutively. When you accumulate enough energy, the basic skill will transform to the ultimate skill form which have higher damage. Now before we get into details on the skill, first you need to know about the energy and star mechanic for Taekwon. Why is it important? Because to use the ultimate form, you need to consume star where you can get the star. It is from the energy that you accumulate every time you deal damage when doing normal attack or using skill. The feeling of the the star's skill let you gain energy with every normal attack and non-ultimate skill. The energy gorge can be seen here. After the energy gorge is full or reaching 100 points of energy, it will become star. A maximum of 3 stars can be stacked. The union of the star skill then will consume 1 star to enter the union of stars state. In this state, the 3 skills will be transformed to the ultimate form. And here is the tricky part. Only one ultimate can be used at one time. During the union of the star state, you cannot gain energy from your attack. And once you use the ultimate skill, the union of the star state will end. So although we have these three high damage ultimate skills, but technically speaking, the tech one can only use one at a time. So with that, the ultimate form is kind of a situational skill to be used on a certain situation. But I can say one ultimate skill is enough for the objective that you want to use them in. So what are the skill used for? For that, you need to know what the skill does. The rising kick skill launch the target into the air. At enhanced skill form X kick, it begins to deal AOE damage and inflict slow effect. Its ultimate form, the ultimate X kick deal AOE damage and stun the target. The round kick deal a faint shape area damage and recover some HP. Its enhanced skill will Win kick deal 2 times AOE damage and recover some HP. Its ultimate form, the ultimate whirlwind kick deal again an AOE damage and recover a lot more HP. The shattering kick is a single target kick that lowers down the target defense. Its enhanced skill ignition kick have the same effect but with higher damage. And its ultimate form, the ultimate ignition kick deal 2 times single target damage. The damage is much multiplied for each time to deal more damage. And not enough with that, it also deals extra true damage. So a powerful single target damage skill. So we have the ultimate X kick for crowd control skill, ultimate whirlwind kick for AOE and sustained damage skill, and the ultimate ignition kick skill with powerful single target damage skill. So for PvE AFK grinding, I suggest to use the round kick skill line. It deals AOE damage so you can kill multiple monsters at the same time and it also recover HP. 
HP for more survivability. It can act as an early lifesteal stat, so you don't have to use HP Potion. For large size monster, you can use the Shattering Kick skill line. Usually, there are only two monsters together for large size monster on the field. With Ultimate Ignition Kick skill, you can deal multiple damage and also extra true damage, damage that bypass the target defense. This is also important because I just come to know that the tech one weapon actually only deal 50% damage to the large size monster, only half the damage that it has, the worst kind of all. And the shattering and ignition kick skill can help you deal more damage on that. And finally, the ultimate axe kick I think is suitable to be used in PvP for its stun effect in the early game on higher level PvP where everyone has 100% stun resist. When this skill will not be that useful anymore, you can switch to use the shattering and ignition kick skill to deal multiplied damage and also true damage. So in the beginning of the video, the skill that I use is the round kick skill line. It is so good and effective to wipe monsters in a group. But it comes with some challenge. To unlock the ultimate skill, you need to level up the basic skill to level 5, and the skill cannot be adjusted after that. So you are fixed to use the skill at level 5, in which we'll have a higher skill cooldown. You need at least 20 seconds to use it without the skill level cooldown. For such high requirement at lower level, it is a challenge. On top of that, to use the ultimate skill, you need to accumulate the energy before you can use it. So there are two things to tackle here, the high haste requirement and the energy. Let's talk about the energy first. Although the ultimate skill can only be used one at a time, and ideally you want to use only one ultimate skill for specific purpose, but using only one skill line will make it hard for you to accumulate the energy. As you know, you get energy from both normal attack and the non-ultimate skill. So for that, apart from using the round and whirlwind kick skill line, my solution is to use the other basic skills as well, so that I can gain energy faster. But I only use the skill with low level skill. I don't have enough haste for 20 seconds, so I use the skill on level that the skill can be used with zero variable cooldown. This way, I can alternately use the skill skill faster and gain energy faster too. The idea is to get energy as fast as possible to use the ultimate whirlwind kick skill. After I have enough haste to reduce 20 seconds variable skill cooldown, I can then unlock the skill enhanced form for more skills to use and gain more energy but not the ultimate skill. Because I want the tech one to always use only the whirlwind kick ultimate skill. Next is the hast. Now to get more hast, obviously you need to upgrade and refine your equipment, specifically the weapon and the hast accessory and talisman. You will get more hast the more you upgrade and refine this equipment. Apart from that, you can get hast from the shadow equipment as well. If that is not enough, you can get the hast from cards. There is a hast card for weapon, the dagger skeleton pirate card. Card, and haste card for accessory, the Kukre card. Personally, I like this method better because this can give you that instant haste that you need to reduce more level cooldown. Alright, we are not done yet. There is one more thing to cover in regard of the tech one second job skill, and that is the anger of the star skill. The anger of the star skill consumes three stars to be used. The ultimate skill use 1 star, and this skill use 3 stars. Now because the ultimate skill will use the star every time you have it, it is a challenge to stack up to 3 stars. And for that, if you use the anger of the star skill together with the ultimate skill, this skill will never be used because of the lack of the star stake. So 
to use this skill, I can only think of this way. You need to use this skill independently, separate from the ultimate skill. You need a new skill loadout for this. To gain energy, you can include the basic skills in the skill set. Adjust accordingly to your haste. If you have enough haste for 20 seconds, you can get the enhanced skill as well, but not the ultimate. And after 3 stacks of star, the skill will be used. But I'm not sure in which situation this skill is suitable to be used. Because after using this skill, your final damage bonus is reduced by 64% at maximum level in exchange for faster movement speed. And at the same time, summon Meteor at your location every 3 seconds, in which it inflicts slow effect to the target that it hit. So definitely not for AFK grinding because it reduces your damage. Most probably is an escape skill during PvP or MVP hunt where you need that extra movement speed to get away from the damage area. And lastly, we have the warmth of the star skill. This skill is more of a support skill. It reduces the tech 1 damage received and the effect is extended to all party members as well in union of the star state. Alright, that is the skill setup for Tech 1 Second Job Star Gladiator. Now I want to talk about the Shadow Equipment next. I had unlocked the Shadow Equipment, but it will be a long video if I include that as well in this video. So the Tech 1 Shadow Equipment will be in another video. Before I end this video, I would like to show you how a more developed build looks like with the ultimate whirlwind kick skill line. This is my ranger that I switched job to tech 1 for the tech 1 testing. And this is only using the round kick and whirlwind skill line. So this is how the final result looks like of this skill. It can wipe masses in seconds. Alright, I will end the video here. I hope you have a clear understanding about the gladiator skill set after watching this video. That's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.